We're in the World Cup pits and we're going to ask some cross-country mechanics what their top tips are for losing a bit of weight on the bike. Some pro tips, but also some tips that the average rider can use on their bike. So, let's take a look. Okay, so we're with Sandy Gilcrest at Specialised. Sandy, what would be your top tips for the average trail rider to save a little bit of weight on their bike? Well, probably revolving weight in your, from going from tubes to, to tubeless, you save quite a bit there, it's a bit more lively as well. So that would be one of the first things to start with. Yes, it actually changes, the, not only the bike is lighter, but it changes the characteristics of the bikes quite a bit. Yeah, for sure, it makes it more responsive. You've got to get used to riding it on the corners and that. It, it trails a bit different, but yeah, that's one of the big, big differences. All right, so we're with Giacomo at Cannondale. Jack, what would be your top tips for losing a bit of weight on a bike? Um, yeah, for sure, I will start get some uh, lightweight uh, wheels. You want to have, like, um, at the same time, lightweight but uh, reliable wheels. So, and same thing for the for tires. So, um, not super light and crazy because you still need to finish the race. So, like a nice uh, tubeless ready tires, any brand. And then with milk inside, at the moment, there is no need anymore of inner tube, you know, if you have a, a good tire brand. Okay, so a lot of the cross country races nowadays use a one by system as well. That helps with weight? I would say yes, it definitely helps. First of all, you don't have a shifter. Uh, left shifter for the front Mac and then um, the second advantage is uh, there is less chance of failure because you don't have to shoot front uh, as much and that is a lot of stress for the, the chain so that mean helps a lot the, the, the life and then uh, mechanical failure to avoid that. Uh, I see some titanium bolts on your bikes would you recommend that for the average trail rider? Um, titanium is good as long as you have really good quality because um, there is lots of titanium around and then if you are not sure where it's coming from, if it's test for this use and I wouldn't risk for these few grams. Any other components where you can lose some weight? Yeah, for sure you can use like a carbon handlebar, carbon seat post, saddle with a carbon rail and then eventually a bottle cage. So we're over at Manuel Fumix bike. Something I've noticed is the foam down the steerer tube. Yes, yeah, it's um, just a little trick to avoid that um, mud and then uh, dust and then soil goes in to prevent dirt and then save also the tread of the steerer tube. Also, something I notice is not six disc bolts. What are we running four in there? Yes, uh, this is a, there is a reason why. It definitely is not for the weight. You, it's not like these two grams, even if they are two grams. What is important for me is how quickly you can change um, a disc uh, in case of uh, if it's bent or so. It's um, quicker. And then, um, I mean, those bikes, they get checked twice a day. So four bolts are enough for whoever has a mechanic, so. So we're with Matt at Trek. Matt, what would be your top tips for an absolute beginner who's just bought their bike to save a little bit of weight on their bike? Uh, sure, I mean, remove all the extraneous stuff like valve cap covers, uh, reflectors, unless you're riding at night, you want to be safe, um, and the spoke protector on the rear wheel, uh, maybe not drink so much beer, I don't know. You know? <laughs> okay, so we're with Uva at Ghost. Ghost are well known for having very light race bikes, how do you get them so light? So we use um, many carbon things on, on these bikes. We use some carbon rims from Alex Lightness, uh, as well the stem and uh, the handlebar. It's an AX Lightness one and um, very light. The seat post and as well the clamp for, for the seat post. We use some, some um, foam grips from Easy. Uh, we can make these bikes about 8.2 kilos. Okay, so there's some top tips and pro mechanics about how to lose some weight on the bike. Some of those are a bit race only ones, but it's nice to hear what those pro mechanics have got to say. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up down below, or if you think we've missed anything, any weight saving tips you know of, leave us a comment. For more videos from GMBN, you can click up here for our mechanical playlist, or you can click down here for our skills playlist, or click on me and the World Cup pits to subscribe to GMBN. Free.